do, we're looking at Cisco Corp, and we're doing our stock and focus segment here. And I like to always kind of go on a weekly here because I really think it shows and demonstrates a good, uh, it gives you a good representation of the overall longer term picture um, and where you're at with the overall market. You can see this kind of just coming into this longer term downtrend. If you're just drawing it from the main high since uh, 07, um, for the most part, you've seen it really kind of honor that, although there was some slight. Uh, differences in hitting the range it was very very close to this uh, trend line here and you could see it kind of hitting it at every real point even when it starts to kind of come back into this price range recently so you would be really kind of paying attention although you're breaking to the upside here on the more week on the weekly recently you do notice that your longer term trend line has and that is it really honored for some time and it's coming into that overextended position or where you would at least consider some potential resistance could be taking place probably at the 30 and a half to 31 range probably uh, so even though it does look uh, when you turn to the daily it looks very bullish and it could be you know uh, you have to at least respect the fact that the longer term chart could really uh, weigh heavily on this as you see this kind of trying to come back up because you could see also how it's really been in a kind of a triangle after its uh, big decline during the banking collapse and you could see it trying to recover